So OpenAI just rolled out an exciting beta feature that allows you to create custom versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose called GPTs. With this new feature, anyone can easily build their own GPT and share it with others. No coding is required. This feature is available today to all Plus and Enterprise users. So I decided to give it a try and create my own ChatGPT that makes use of the content from all my YouTube videos as knowledge base. You can find the link to this GPT in the description down below and with this GPT you can now chat with me, use my knowledge and ask anything you want related to data science. I also added a custom integration for this GPT that allows it to save the conversation to a Google Doc for your reference later on. If you develop your own GPT, you can of course choose among many other integrations to make your GPT your own assistant. In this video, I'll walk you through a quick tutorial for creating your own custom GPT like this. Okay, so here we are in the ChatGPT website. Let's take a look at the current plan that you have. In order to use or create GPTs, we need to be ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT Enterprise user. So here you can see I'm on the ChatGPT Plus plan and so that's all good. Now on the bar on the left hand side, we have an Explore tab. Let's click on it and here you can see there's a button for create a GPT and let's click on it and now we can start creating our own GPT. It's actually very easy. We start with the create tab over here. In here, we can specify what kind of GPT you want to create. So you can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products. Or in my case, I want to create a data science coach who can help with all data science related questions. So I have prepared a description for what I want to build. Here I say make a data science coach to provide helpful and practical advice and tips about data analytics and data science. The coach can answer various questions around the field, including how to start in the field, how to develop career, suggestions for learning roadmap and useful resources, etc. And we can also specify how you want this GPT to behave. So in this case, I say this data science coach is supportive, empathetic, creative, delightful and fun. So let's submit that. And after a few seconds, you can see that GPT Builder replied with, okay, a great choice. We are creating a data science coach for you. And it also suggests for us a name, Data Dynamo. Do you like this name? Uh, yes, that sounds great. And now the GPT Builder is generating for us a profile picture. It looks pretty fun. I like this picture. Yes, I do. So the GPT Builder also asked me some extra questions. So uh, what specific types of questions or topics would you like to focus on? I don't have any topics that I would like to focus on. In addition, we might also want to specify what our GPT should emphasize or avoid in its interactions with the users. So I just wrote something like this. This data science coach emphasized the usefulness, practicality and accuracy of her advice when she is not sure she will say, I don't know. This coach should avoid giving too general advice that does not resonate with users. She should always be friendly and polite. I hope this is an enough, but we can always configure it further later on. So GPT Builder is now updating our GPT based on our specification. Okay, so this all sounds good to me. And further in the configuration tab, here you can see that we already have a name that's already filled in based on our our chat with GPT Builder. And here's the description of our GPT that's automatically generated and the instruction for our GPT. And here are the conversation starters kind of automatically filled in for us, but we can also specify other questions or we can also remove some of them. An interesting thing about building GPT is that we can also upload files as knowledge base for our GPT. So if you have any files or any documents you want to use, you can upload those files here. I have a bunch of video scripts from my uh, YouTube videos. So for example, how to transition to data analytics. So this is my uh, video script. It's almost written out uh, word by word. I actually ended up having to upload my batches because 
somehow I cannot upload all of them all at once. Okay, now we have uploaded all the files as our knowledge base. Now we can start picking the capabilities for this GPT. So there are three capabilities. We have web browsing, DALI image generation, and code interpreter. I also want code interpreter as well. And after all this, we can save or update our GPT. So in my case, I only publish it to myself for now. So let's try out our data dynamo GPT. How do I start a career in data science? Let's see what our data dynamo comes up with. I'm quite happy with what it answers here. And I definitely would say these are what I would advise to someone who wants to start a data science career as well. Another thing that I want to try out is to define a custom action for our GPT. So if you scroll all the way down over here, you can see that there's a button called add actions and actions are just like plugins. It allows GPTs to integrate external data or interact with the real world. Let's say integrate your email, your Google doc or your Slack or your notion, etc. There are many popular the platforms that allow you to integrate apps and services into OpenAI. But one of the tools I know that allow you to do this is Zapier AI Actions. Zapier AI Actions allow you to integrate many, many different apps into your GPT. Here you can see all apps that can be integrated. So for GPTs, we will get started here. Now going a little bit down, you can see that we can copy this URL and click on import from URL here and paste it into this box. And we click on import. And here you can see that we have all the information for our OpenAI schema here. It's a bunch of text. If we scroll a bit down, we have authentication, which I uh, wouldn't specify for now. And we also have privacy policy if we want to define our custom privacy policy over here. We also need to provide some instructions to the GPT so that it understands how to use the Zapier AI actions. In this case, with my Data Dynamo GPT, I would like it to be able to automatically save the content of the conversation into a Google Doc under the user's Google Drive account. So I just follow the documentation of Zapier API actions and try to replicate some of the examples here. So I decide to add extra instructions. I also help you save the relevant information into a Google Doc for future references. I will follow these steps. First, create an, a suggestion for the title of the Google Doc for saving the content of the current conversation with user. The second step is to use Zapier action Google Docs create document from text to create a new document with the title from step one. And step three is use the same action to save content to the document. The rule I specify here is that the content of the Google Doc should follow this structure, title, question, and answer. And finally, we also specify some instructions about how to use the Zapier actions. So these I copy pasted from the documentation from Zapier API actions. It's not difficult, but for the first time, you definitely need to play around with this a little bit. And don't forget to update our GPT as we just made some changes in our configuration. And now I want to try out the action. Um, if it actually works. So what are the essential skills for a data analyst? Please save this conversation to a Google Doc. So Data Dynamo just got back with some kind of sign in link to actionsapier.com. We will just click on that. If you don't have a Zapier account yet, you might need to create your account first before you see this page. So I'll just click on allow. So there seems to be an issue with saving the conversation into the Google document because the content is too long. So Data Dynamo will try to condense the content slightly and try it again. So I will just click on yes, allow. Let's do that again. And now we can start reviewing this document through this link. And so here's the document name. Here's the title, the question and the answer. And so this is all good. We click on run. 
let's go back to my Google Drive. Now you can see that we have a new document here in our Google Doc. This is the content of our conversation that is already summarized. So it seems like it's working really nicely, although I did get some glitches here and there. It was a little bit of a trial and error process to get this working. I feel like this is so powerful because we can customize our GPT to interact with a lot of different apps and different services on the internet. It does feel a little bit scary because this is the beginning of developing AI agents who can interact with the real world and make decisions. And so we do need to exercise some caution over here. So finally, we want to share our GPT with the world. We can click on this update button. Here we can publish it to people with a link or to the rest of the world. In order to share it with other people, we need to add a privacy policy. We can click here to update it. I don't actually know what is the best policy to put in here, but I found a sample privacy policy from a website and I'll just try this out. So now if we update it, we hit confirm. And yes, our GPT has been published and you can copy the link or view the GPT. Here's the GPT that we just created. So all in all, I think this is a very exciting update to ChatGPT. And I really like the idea that any one of us now can create our own chat assistant that may also be helpful to many other people. You don't even need to know how to code. Although with your coding skill, you may be able to develop even more sophisticated applications. And with coding, you may also get to know how things actually work under the hood. Later this month, OpenAI is also launching the GPT store where you can upload your own GPT. Once in the store, GPTs become searchable and may be ranked based on the usefulness of your GPT. It's also mentioned that in the coming months, you'll also be able to earn money based on how many people are using your GPT. So I hope this video is helpful and let me know in a comment below if you created your own GPT. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.